Welcome to another edition of the Flex Rental Solutions Get Schooled by Flex webinars. Today we're going to be going over the department classification area in Flex. This was a new area that was fast-tracked by a customer who is looking to categorize their different elements and then push that classification down towards their QuickBooks integration as a class setting. So what we did to add this functionality was under system settings we go to departments and these are all the different classifications that we created we have four different fields here department name code abbreviation and accounting name the department name is the department that is the name that will show up in the combo box when you select the department categorization the code is an area that we use every so often when writing very specific business rules into the system. Business rules are an area where we can add very specific code for a specific customer without having to rewrite the whole software code just to add a specific rule. Abbreviations is an area that we're going to be implementing possibly in a future date, but just the ability to abbreviate a department name instead of using a long descriptive name. And then the accounting name is the name that will be used if it differs from the department name when we export that out to QuickBooks. So by default, if it is blank, the class that it will push out to QuickBooks will be the same as the department name. If you override that and type in your own name, the class will be pushed out as the accounting name, not the department name. So to configure these newly created departments for the elements, you go to projects, project elements. We can go to the element that we want to enable it for. So we're going to open up our quotes area. There are three new settings under the identity and exposure tab. Those are department associatable yes, department inherited yes or no, and department override enabled yes or no. So as an example, if you started out with an event folder that you want to have a department for, you would enable it for the department. If as a child element, you wanted to push that department down towards the lower quote, you would have the department associatable for the quote. You would have department inherited as yes. And depending whether you want to be able to override that or not, you would change the override enabled setting. Now, same thing with the invoice. If you're going to have an invoice as a child element of a quote, you probably want to associate the department for the invoice also, make that inheritable, and select whether you want to override it, yes or no. Those are the th three main settings per element that you will need to configure for each element that you want to associate departments with. Now, if we want to use these and view them on the document view, so say if I went under my quote LDI booth, if we would like to see the department here in the mini header, we would go back to projects, project elements, go to our quote area, Go to our document view, open up the view that we would like to modify that for, and then scroll down to our header block column. And here we enabled a row that we put on row one. We said we wanted to call it department. We selected the department category. We put the custom row as none. It's a specific field, not a custom row. We put width as one, we hit the add button, and then we could also drag and drop to whatever order we want it in that row. We would then hit update and save the settings. So if you want to see it in this field here, that's how you would configure that. A great feature that I love in the system is under projects, say quotes. This is where you can create a whole list of all your different quotes and then filter each area individually. Here 
we can see that we've already enabled the department field to display in this area. So if we want to look at all of our different lighting jobs or live events, I could uncheck all, select live event, and hit OK. So those are all the different live events. We could filter that by start date or end date or status, things like that, and then export that out to QuickBooks or I'm sorry, out to Excel or Word or PDF or print it. So to enable this new feature of being able to display the department, again, we would go back to projects, project elements. We would select our quote that we would want to view that on and we would go to our search option tab and here we're going to upload this cheat sheet that we have created so here are all the different columns that we can query in the system we've got one here called department and this is the token that we would implement in here called element.department.name so i can copy that and go back to this area. So we would say the column, we want the top name to be department, put in department name. I'm gonna delete this area here, add that one, and then we could drag and drop and say, I wanna move it below venue, above status, and hit save changes. Now, when we go to projects and quotes, that's how you will see this new column right here. We could do that exact same thing for invoices and event folders also, if that helps. Now, the way this exports out is, let's open up a quote that we have worked on very recently. And I'm gonna to go to my remote desktop connection and this is a quote that we have been working on. We've exported the class. It was billed to Williams AV. It was at the MGM Grand for all three of these different items. I'm going to go back to Flex. And I'm going to go to Search. Invoices. And there's our invoice called test department. I'm gonna hit edit header, and we're gonna change the department to a live event and hit accept. And I'm gonna change the price on this to uh, one times a day rate. And now we're gonna re-export this out to QuickBooks so the action re-export to QuickBooks has successfully been performed. If we go to System Settings Integration Bus, we can now see that on the QuickBooks Output Master, we've got one item waiting to be picked up. If we go back to our remote desktop connection and we open our Web Connector Kit, I'm going to update and go grab anything new from flex and push it to QuickBooks. So it's gone and grabbed all the different updates. So now if we go back to this job, it has automatically changed the classification to live event. And it has updated the price. So one question we had is the difference between accounts and departments. So let's go back and look at this job. So the classification was a department that we pushed that we can do very specific um, reports on in here. And notice that the item code, we've got rental and rental audio. So these are being pulled from the different accounts in QuickBooks that we've configured in Flex. And so the way we can configure a sub account instead of just rental, if we go to 
inventory and I'm going to right click on audio and go to audio inventory group manager and edit inventory group. Here we've added a different a sub account to the sales account. So anything that's going to be a rental item out of this group will create a different sub account called uh, rental audio. So that is the difference between a class. A class is an overall class for the whole entire job, but we can, can have different sub accounts uh, during the export process per group. With that, that gets us through the new department settings in Flex. If you have any questions, please contact support at flexrentalsolutions.com. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.